Welcome everyone, this is DCT and in this video you're going to witness some of the mouth-watering street food in the heart of Bangalore at VV Puram. Oh shit! The famous food street, also called Tindi Bidi, has 40-50 food stalls spanning across 100 odd meters and they are all vegetarian. Now that's because it's inhabited by a bunch of vegetarian communities. Basically the Brahmins, the Jains and the Vaishyas and of course they are places of worship where non-vegetarian food is a strict no-no. Anyway, on to the food now. The first thing that caught my eye was in fact a pineapple budgie. Well, if people had issues with pineapple being on their pizza... No! God, please, no! No! Let's go see what a pineapple budgie is all about. It's a slice of pineapple which is batter fried and then split down the middle to apply some green chutney, red chilli masala, a squeeze of lemon and finally followed by some pickled onion and carrot mix. Here we go. <coughs> Oh wow, that packs quite a bit of spice, but you know what, the addition of that green chutney is adding another layer of spice, which is superb. It goes so very well with that sweet pineapple, delicious. It's in fact like a small little pineapple burger that I'm eating right now. The batter on the outside is super crunchy, you bite into it, the pineapple is a bit juicy, it's been balanced really well, really very good. At just 30 rupees, it's totally worth your money. And if I have to rate this, I'm gonna give it a 7. Let's move on to the next place now. Holy cow, thank God beef is banned in India. I really couldn't hold myself back. I'm super excited. It's been a really long time since I had myself a masala dosa. It's basically a rice and lentil crepe with a spiced potato filling. And at Arya Vaishya Refreshments, the dosa maker spreads the batter to a perfect oval, just like my math score in school. Now, he's adding some ghee in a manner which reminds me of... Never mind. Next up, he spreads some red chutney, followed by the spiced potato mix, and it's ready. I'm dipping into that coconut chutney which he gave me. Here we go. Spicy, tons of ghee, crispy, so bloody good. The potato is cooked so soft, it's awesome. Bite number two. Mm. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's so nice and crispy. Oh man. The flavor from all the ghee that he added is quite intense but it really balances out with the spice coming in from that coconut chutney because of all the green chilies that they've added. Overall at just 50 rupees, it is absolutely worth it and if I have to rate this, I'm gonna give this a 7.5. On to the next dish. After all that spice was craving something sweet and I've had this as a child. It's basically like a sweet paratha. It's got maida on either sides and it's filled with boiled tur dal and jaggery. It's so bloody hard. Looking forward to this. Mm. Oh. The outer layer has been fried to a nice crisp on that tawa. And on the inside, that filling with the tur dal and the jaggery is the right amount of sweet. It's not too overpowering and it's nice and mushy. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not able to stop, but I think I should. So I'm definitely gonna stop after this bite. A few moments later. I mean, I literally stuffed myself with a heavy lunch and I came here. I'm still eating all of it. Well, this bite is a little chewy, but at just 20 rupees, are you freaking kidding me? Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth each and every one of those 20 rupees. And uh, I have someone looking at me. I have someone looking at me. Should we say hi to her? Say hi. She's not saying hi. She is kind of. Okay, now she is. Now she is pissed.
chocolate wafers dipped in liquid nitrogen and I gave it a go and this is what happened. Oh! Smoke ice is a definite no-no. In fact, it sort of has burnt my tongue a little bit. It's burnt the upper portion of my mouth also. It's not too safe if you're coming here with your kids and stuff. Absolutely not. Don't risk it. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to pay for it. Thanks to these men. <laughs> Gentlemen here. They bought it for me. But uh, sir, how much did you buy it for? 150. 150 rupees? Yes. Wow, they've saved me 150 rupees today. <laughs> Thank you so much. What the hell? In my next location, Darsh Kitchen, I asked for a mixed ice cream and it's no ordinary ice cream. They have an exciting new way of making fresh ice cream using their ice cream roller coaster machine. I'm going on a roller coaster ride today. It's a cylindrical liquid torture device which rotates and freezes liquids, of course. Its operator Sonu first takes some sweetened milk and mixes the flavored syrups. Then he starts pouring some Kesar Pista milk and you can see how it immediately freezes. Followed by the mango milk and there is a fresh mango slice being tortured as well. Does the same with strawberry and chocolate milk. A few minutes in, it's time to grate the ice cream which comes out looking like Hakka noodles. Anyway, for final touches, add some of the toppings and there we have it. Freshly made roller coaster ice cream. Mm. Oh man, it's damn refreshing. The flavors of the ice cream are actually getting lost because of how cold it is. All that I feel is extreme cold. <laughs> The Kesar Pista is intense in its flavor. It's nice and creamy, velvety, smooth. I absolutely love it. But the winner amongst the four flavors is definitely the mango. The freshness from whatever he did with that mango, the way he applied it has really done the job for it. But I'm finding it a bit too sweet. I'm shamelessly saying this after finishing the entire thing. But at 200 rupees, it's double of whatever I've paid till now, which is just 100 bucks. It's definitely pricey. Of course, uh, the whole roller coaster idea is what you're sort of paying for. And uh, it's fun, you should definitely try it. It's such a small street, but damn, it's got filled with tons of people. My next dish was at the other end of the street at Manda, yeah, at that place. This dish that you're looking at is quite popular among the vegetarians in Bangalore. It's called the Gobi Manchurian, which is primarily batter fried cauliflower, which is then along with some Indian and Chinese ingredients tossed in a hot wok. It's my first time. I haven't had this before. So here goes. Mmm, crispy on the outside and nice and mushy on the inside. I wasn't expecting it to be this spicy, but of course, with all that red chili powder that he added, it had to be spicy. I've had Manchurian a lot of times, but none of them had curry leaves in them. This one does. So, if you aren't a big fan of the curry leaves, I don't think you should try this. Next up, I'm at the crowded Chinese corner and I'm buying the recommended Szechuan paneer fried rice for 120 rupees. It looked damn nice when he was making it, but to be honest, it didn't taste that good. It had way too much of the Szechuan sauce and the paneer was overcooked. The only saving grace were the fresh vegetables that they had used, because of which I'm gonna rate it a 6. And as I was leaving, I got 10 new subscribers. Alright, future in your vlog. Come, say hi. <laughs> Hi guys. Will you get me 10 subscribers? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> See you. Now coming to my last stop, I've been super excited. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube and otherwise eat fire. Eat fire. It's my turn now. Oh my god. The mouse. Oh shit. Mmm. <laughs> No go. They just scared for two seconds and then the fire is off. 
there is so much of this pan in my mouth right now. If you're wondering what a pan is, it's a beetle leaf with various fillings, and this one had 22 of them. It's filled with so much energy. I don't know how else to put it. A lot of artificial sweetness is all that I can feel right now. But overall, this place is a fun experience. It's really value for money. If you guys like such videos, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.